Hi, and welcome to Skincare by Sydney. I'm Sydney, I'm a dermatology PA and your guide to skincare. Today we're talking about vitamin C. So there is so much to say about vitamin C, but I'm going to just give you the overview of what I usually say in a consult to tell you what you really want to know. Um, but like I said, there's so much research, so much good information if you really wanna get into the science of it. So I'm gonna to try to keep it simple. Um, so vitamin C is going to be best as a serum. This is, serums are the most potent form of any ingredient. We obviously can't just put serum after serum on our skin. So we reserve that mainly for vitamin C. And when we talk about medical grade skincare, the two things that are typically missing from a regular skincare routine are the vitamin C serum in the morning and a retinoid at night. So these are considered like the AM active ingredient treatment is going to be a vitamin C. And then in that same place at night, we use a retinoid. And it can get way more complicated from that, but this is just the basics. So we're gonna clean our face, sometimes use a toner, and then we're prepped for serums. So what is vitamin C? It technically exists in nature as ascorbic acid. And there are two types of ascorbic acid. The way that our skin uses it is through L-ascorbic acid. So it is, or can be, or is a very unstable molecule, meaning that it is very sensitive to light. So when it's exposed to light, it oxidizes. So if you've ever taken, I think it's organic chemistry, there are oxidation reactions that you actually like do in a lab. So it will oxidize and it will turn from like a clear to like slightly yellowish orange color to like dark orange or dark brown. So this is sometimes where um, derivatives come in. They're going to be more stable, but they're going to have to be converted in your skin to L-ascorbic acid because that's how our skin uses it. So vitamin C is an antioxidant, meaning that it is going to be, um, preventive for cancer because it's going to fight free radicals which can basically just they're like looking for a partner or they have a charge and they're looking to cap that off and so sometimes that's where we see abnormal reactions happen and abnormal reactions in our cells lead to cancer so um, with vitamin C on the skin it technically can prevent skin cancer, this is not something that insurance is ever going to pay for, but um, it would be nice if they would, um, including sunscreen. But um, so anyway, we get vitamin C through our diet, through food that we eat, but it does not transfer to our skin. So to protect our skin from free radical damage from the outside, which is mainly pollution and sun damage, if you smoke, then um, smoke, or if you're around a lot of smoke, then that can also leads to premature aging, which we all know, mainly if you're actually smoking yourself. But when we talk about um, environmental damage, typically it's from the sun. So there are studies that show that vitamin C will augment your sunscreen to be eight times more effective than it is alone. And there's also studies that show that putting on vitamin C before you have sun damage is helpful, but also after. So some, some places you will see that you should apply your vitamin C twice daily. These are expensive products. I really recommend investing in medical grade so that if you're taking the time to put it on your skin every morning that you're really getting the benefit. Um, so usually it's just once per day. Sometimes we'll increase it to twice per day if people do have melasma or a lot of hyperpigmentation. Um, or what I'll do sometimes is if I've like been on vacation or at the beach or in the sun actively, then I will apply it at night as well. Um, you can apply it up to three times per day and it technically stays in your skin for up to 72 hours. So that would mean that you don't have to apply it every single day. But again, based off the research that says that you can apply it before sun damage and also benefit after sun damage, we just apply it every morning and that makes it simple. So with medical grade, you're always getting ascorbic acid. There are some derivatives. The one that I would look for is tetrahexyldecyl ascorbate, which 
is capital T, capital H, tap, capital D, a square babe. You're gonna find this in Epion's Intense Defense Serum, which is also mixed with niacinamide and a wonderful serum. Um, Beauty Counter has the THD ascorbate, and there are several others. But what I really want you to know is do not spend money on a vitamin C serum that doesn't have ascorbic acid or a THD ascorbate in the ingredient list. We typically want it in like the first three to five ingredients. So where I really care about this is the cost. So if you are paying anywhere near $70 or even like $50, make sure that you're getting a medical grade product. So for example, um, SkinCeuticals has a 10% vitamin C serum that's $70. Abaji's um, was 85, it just went up, I think it's like 89. So if you get in the $80 price range, just buy medical grade. What you're getting with medical grade is decades of research. The thing with the body and skin suitables is that we know that it works, it's been proven. In my four years of experience as a dermatology PA, I've seen it, it works, but there's also research to back it. So with most skincare, um, where I become really passionate is when we're talking about how much you're spending on these products because I don't want you to waste your money on a product that isn't working for you. So ascorbic acid is going to come in 10%, 15%, and 20%. You will sometimes see 30%. There is, Abaji has a microdermabrasion polish plus mask that I do recommend a lot. The Ordinary has a 30% vitamin C to use daily. It is intense. Um, I don't love the formulation on that one, like the, the actual texture of the vehicle, but also it's just too strong for the majority of people. Most people are gonna start at 10% or 15%. Um, there's actually a free vitamin C quiz on my website, sydneygivens.com slash consulting, and it will show you and direct you to the correct vitamin C that I would recommend for you based off the questions that I typically ask. And then there's also a discount code at the end. So all of that to say, um, when you're buying medical grade vitamin C, typically we're talking $70 up to $170 and these should last at least six months. Um, the way that you use any serum is you apply five to seven drops to the palm of your hand, you kind of rub it together, press it together, and then you press it into your face, neck, chest, and then also the excess on the back of your hands. And then you go on with the rest of your skincare routine. So I hope that has been helpful. Um, I didn't talk a lot about why we want to use vitamin C, so I'll touch on that really quickly. Basically, it is going to prevent future sun damage, but it will also help with some of the issues that we see from previous sun damage. So the sun is the primary cause of all fine lines and wrinkles um, and of discoloration on the skin. So UV rays actually damage our cells and will change the DNA and break them down. So we think of vitamin C because it's an antioxidant, um, it's going to restore the skin, but it's also going to prevent future sun damage. Um, there's also evidence and research to show that it will induce collagen production, which it almost seems like everything will induce collagen production at different levels. But basically, it's just a healthy thing to put on your skin. And if you're at the point where you're researching products, then I 100% recommend that you use a vitamin C and that it's medical grade. So I hope that's been helpful. Please um, subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this and thank you so much. I hope to see you next time.